Hello, this is Marian Penna coming to you from SeemsToBeSo.com. Happy anniversary, Electric Quilt. This is my July lesson for their 25th anniversary that I'm celebrating at my own site by giving a monthly lesson in Electric Quilt. This week's lesson, or this month's lesson, comes because I happened to discover a little trick um, this week that I did not know about previously in Electric Quilt. And it deals with deleting items from the sketchbook. I thought I would share it with you because it's pretty cool and it's very quick. So let's get on with it. We'll open Electric Quilt and we want to open a project file. I have been working on perfect pairs, um, as you know, over the last month because I've been releasing a block a week and um, I was working on a patriotic block to release for July the 4th today and I thought well I'll go ahead and do this lesson because I wanted to separate my perfect pairs p70 file to a patriotic file because when I was working yesterday in the perfect pairs file I started working on the patriotic blocks at the same time and I lumped them all in with the per perfect pairs so I'll show you here. Here are all the perfect pairs. They're all done, ready to be introduced each week. Here are my patriotic files. These are what I want to delete now because I've made a uh, patriotic P70 file, so I'm not going to need these in that file any longer. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you first that I had already saved these previously to my block libraries. These are my, all my libraries and I keep one for this year. I've made one for the patriotic blocks and one for the perfect pairs so that they're all in here and taken care of and I don't have to worry that what I delete from my sketchbook now is going to get deleted here because this is a permanent file whereas the sketchbook is just really meant to be temporary until you use them. So this is my perfect pairs library. So I want to delete the patriotic blocks. So let's go ahead and come over here to the patriotic blocks and work on deleting some of these. So I'm going to show you what happens when you just normally delete first in sketchbook. We're not in Sketchbook currently, so I'm going to go over here to Sketchbook and I'm going to open or highlight the first patriotic block and I'm going to delete it. Sorry about the sound. And it's just going to delete every coloring until it comes to this outline. We were lucky in this case, it's only had one coloring to it. Next we'll do this one which has more than one coloring and it will say this coloring is used in a quilt. Delete anyway. Well this is my perfect pairs P70 file. So I don't need to worry about the quilt. So yes, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And as you can see it's deleted one coloring off. Delete another coloring? Yes. Delete another coloring? Yes. <laughs> delete another coloring <laughs> until it comes to the outlines and then it it will delete it and of course there is the quilt that it's it's going to have let's go ahead and just delete here's here's the one we just deleted let's go ahead and delete these quilts out of here and get them out and done with can see there's a lot of them so I'll go ahead and leave that for later because I'm thinking I can do this possibly over in the other side too. So now I want to take you over here to the libraries and the block library again and I want you to open sketchbook instead. This is your sketchbook tab but you are using your block libraries not your sketchbook that's over here even though we're working still in the sketchbook. If 
we come over here to the patriotic files I want to delete this out of the library and it's going to just totally delete it all in one coloring and I'm going to have this done in minutes versus um, or seconds I'm going to I'm going to have this. I must use a sketchbook. So when it's used in a quilt, so I'm I'm going to pause and delete all the quilts in the, the sketchbook first, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have deleted all the quilts that were not related to perfect pairs, and now I can come back to my sketchbook here and delete out the rest of the patriotic blocks. And this should delete now with no problem. And as you can see, it just deletes easily without all the dealings of different colorings or trying to get down to the outline. It just automatically does it well. I love that. And it's so fast and so easy. And like that, I'm all done. So now I can just come back and I'll give it a little save here because I just want to make sure all is well. And I will have to open up my patriotic and do the same thing to the patriotic blocks. So I'm quickly going to move the quilts. I'll show you a little picture. I have 15 of those in here. I have to, I, I, because there are some patriotic ones as well. But this is you can see all the blocks here for patriotic pair or <laughs> perfect pairs and um, I'm going to delete those real quickly um, I'm sorry I, I'm going to not I I am because I'm in I should be in the patriotic even though I haven't switched me so I'm gonna make sure I'm in my patriotic there I go there it is there it's switched so I'm going to come here to my quilts and I'm going to delete all the ones that are related to perfect pairs. I'll be right back. So as you can see here, all of the ones that are left now are for my patriotic blocks this year. So now I can come over here to the block library and easily delete out the perfect pairs. I'm sorry, to libraries, block library, my sketchbook, and I'm deleting out perfect pairs this time. And as you can see, dear, the popcorn block had quite a few colorings to it. And it just, boom, it, it just deletes everything all at once. So when I close this now, and I come over here to my normal sketchbook, I come to blocks, the popcorn block is no longer first in line. It has been deleted from my sketchbook. And as you can see, it's a much faster process than having to delete, to delete coloring after coloring after coloring. I hope I've shown you something quick and easy in this lesson. I've tried to keep it short today. I hope you'll enjoy July's tip of the month or what um, lesson of the month. I hope you have a great week and a great month. And again, happy anniversary, Electric Quilt. Bye-bye for now. Oopsie, I forgot to mention that not only can you do a single de delete, but you can do a multiple delete as well. And I'll just show you real quick. I could just go ahead and delete them all out, but I just want to show you that you can go ahead and be selective about your deletes as well. You can use your Control or Alt keys. Mac users, I'm sorry, I don't know what you would use, but I'm sure there's something that you can do. I, I don't know because I don't have a Mac. So I apologize. So go ahead and try it. And as you can see, they deleted right out of there. And boom, just like that, all gone. And that completes my deleting those blocks out of my sketchbook. And as you can see, they're gone here. And all I have left is my patriotic blocks. And that's the same in the any P7E file. So I, I wanted to clip this onto the end of the 
the video real quick because I thought it was important to do. Thank you very much. We'll see you next month with a new lesson. Bye-bye for now.